the Shell 2 Finder 2013. Two years old next April. Just starting at the front, all the hitch. Electronic jack at the front. Electric stabiliser legs. From the awning side, three steps to get you inside for the height of it. A handrail to pull you up. Also, picnic table there. TV connections and uh, 240 power on the outside. Just tucked in behind the wheel is a PVC piping to put your solid hoses in, save you getting all the water in the back. Hole storage. Morning coming out now. Press the button from the inside. Uh, this is the boot, and inside is uh, a 105 amp hour battery. There's also one inside underneath the seat. This is the other side of the boot. Inside is the cassette for the toilet, if you really need it. It's quite a big one. And on the back is the hose for the toilet if you need to go to a dump with it. It has a black tank on with 148 litres of capacity. And you can see water filled. Two 4.5 kg gas bottles in the back with the timbers and the hoses. And on the far side you have an outside shower your water heater and that's the van with the uh, slide out in with a cover over the top of it to keep the weather off. This is the slide out coming out now. And that's the slide out fully out. So certified green, gold that's just looking at the slide out from the back. The outlet for your sink. And this is the outlet for your washing machine. This is the outlet for your washing machine, your toilet, your shower and the sink in the bathroom. Entering the van you have a fly screen. Inside the van by the door you have the controls for your batteries and your lights, your slide outs, your hot water system. Your 12 volt system, then you go up to the sink area with quite a good working area, and then up your microwave oven. Up here are the uh, fantastic fans, which they are very, very good fans. Here we have the fridge, which is on the slide out, and the slide out has the two recliners on it with a cupboard in each corner. Here we have the dinette across from the chairs which turns into a bed. Up on the wall is the bracket for the television, 32 inch. And then your aerial system, your wind up aerial, your radio cassette player, your fire alarm up there. Up in the corner is your 32 inch television. The ceiling is your air conditioner, which we've got going at the moment. We've ducted air conditioning. They go into the bedroom and the lounge room here. Your control for your heater and uh, air conditioner. Go into your bathroom area, your front loader washing machine, your sink. For privacy, you have one door by the and you have a concertina door into the bedroom for privacy. Here on the windows, there is an escape hatch, which we call the bear escape hatch. It's the only window that opens fully out where you can get out in case of emergency for fire or anything like that. And this is looking down at your bed and the cupboards above. Also in the bedroom you have a 23 inch television. And this is the shower. And your toilet, which is a flush toilet. So every time you use, you just press the pedal on the floor. Very handy at night. Just looking on the other side of the bedroom at the blind that comes down on the windows. Underneath the seat here is the 12 volt battery, another 12 volt battery, and the charger. And this is the sink after removing the covers on it. As you can see, the batteries are fully charged at 14.4. There's two of them. And that's the other one. This is taken with a slide out when it's out. Now it's coming in. And that's it in. And this is the awning going back in. Look, no hands. <laughs>